Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Are you ready for another adventure on the Lindsay Bee in the North Sea? If you are, well stay tuned after the intro. Right, boys and girls, we're ready to rock and roll. Now we've got a little bit of a task this morning. Uh, at late, I've been having a lot of bother with leaded rope for my, lead, my leaders. So that's the rope that goes from the flag end to the weight. So today, I'm going to be swapping over that leaded rope for floaty rope. I know a lot of you are saying, ah, oh, that leaded rope's the best ever. Not when I use it. It's like me and technology, we've not got a good mix. I've actually got a fleet that's single-ended and the other end's fast as well. All because the leaded rope has went under a, a couple of rocks or something like that. And uh, floaty rope just beats, for small vessels at least, it just beats everything hand down. Now this morning, uh, Mr. Jeff Carter is not with us aboard, however, he is filming from the pier. So, uh, we can do a where's Wally sort of scenario, Let's see if you can spot him. Hey guys, I'll catch you in a little bit. in the bag there you guys
Now the weather conditions are to change once again after today. In fact, we're maybe not even getting uh, this morning in. We sat up to 12 o'clock and then it's meant to blow a hooli. But I tell you what guys, after what I put the Lindsay through the other day, and I've already been slapped with, uh, from Lindsay for it. Uh, it was a southeasterly, I was picking up the gale eight, and this little boat handled it no problem. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Unfortunately, I couldn't film it because the cameras wouldn't have coped. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it just shows you the capabilities of this small vessel. It's honestly, I never would have believed it when I was bold enough, but my god, best seaboat I've ever been on. There you go guys, beautiful Check out guys on our little poachy or devilfish or whatever you call it in your area. <laughs> When I say I was out in a south easterly uh, and it was pretty fierce to ferocious. Sorry, try multitask. Um, I'm always big on my safety. Now, don't worry, there was plenty of boats still out in that weather. Uh, I had fiddlers green round about me. Uh, Wendy Sue was no far away from me as well. So, yeah, we had plenty of cover. And if they had went in, I would have went in as well. But luckily, we got the day shop then. And it's quite a profitable day as well. Now I'm having to move back a little tad. Because like I was saying to you, the, the weather's to turn to the northwest and northerly, so you're going to get a little bit of swell and a little bit of wind on top of it now there's a, a very fast slow going over Britain at the, well, Scotland at the minute uh, and once it goes out into the North Sea we'll get the kickback from that and that's what this is starting basically so today is Thursday the 12th of January uh, and this weather's to start making basically the Saturday morning sort of idea uh, but tomorrow is maybe reading gills of wind for the west, so I won't get out tomorrow either. Quite a lot of wonder fishing. So we'll just move this gear back a little bit and uh, we'll get shot. And fingers crossed there's a little something back here.
Ooh. I just got a dive bomb by a drone there. <laughs> Hope he gets what he's doing with it. Anyway guys, I think I think this one is the one that we need to change the rope over. I'm hoping so. I feel I've done a lot of time on the pier like yesterday afternoon for nothing. I can't underestimate the amount of times this has caught the ground. So I'm going to be fair tough getting much short of this today. Yeah, you can see fine guys. So guys, what we're doing is we're going from a uh, 10 mil light to the top, and then you can see it's not even one season old and it's pretty worn already. Uh, to 12 millimeter floaty rope. What do I mean by floaty rope? Basically, it's no got lead in it, so it doesn't sink at the bottom. Grab the grab the bottom and make life a misery on a 21 foot boat. But ease for ease, you live and learn. Last time I'm taking advice from my best pal Kevin. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now all mines, I have a 25 fathom from the flag end to the weight, but that's only because of the depths I work. I won't be any uh, further than that. Now, I've had a lot of questions asked about what depth should I work what. It's all to do with your area, guys. If you work a deep place, then you've got to have plenty, plenty of length on your rope. And it's always good to have that little bit extra there, just in case you need to extend it, in case you have to go back into even deeper water. Always carry a spare rope like that.
guy's nice and neat. Right, time to get back to work. I've only got three fleets with the lady drop on it, and one's the single end already. So we are so a few conditions to get actually get that single ender today. I just hope we'll get there in time before this weather picks up. But I guess we'll see. Right, let's go. Come on the lobbies, the lobby down! Right, I'll get back to you when I'm done. Hey right, guys, we are back. That's I end roped up, ready to rock and roll. Try and get you in focus. No focus, what's the word? Position! Yeah. Right, let's rock and roll. back a little bit.
and there are harbour gays. Now, just so everybody thinks that I'm not inexperienced, I want to talk to you about end weights. Uh, there's been a few comments saying, oh your end weights are too light. It's not the way it's supposed to be guys. Your end weights will always be heavier than your actual gear itself. Now my creels are 25 kilograms each, uh, and my end weights are 30 kilograms each. Yes, I make it look easy, but I'm a big boy, <laughs> and I can throw a bit of weight about. So always make your ends heavier, because it's your, your, your major anchor point, especially in a storm. Uh, if your ends are fast, your whole line of gear will stay stretched out. You got light weights, that's when you start getting the ball in effect. And especially when you've got boys as the uh, flag ends, because all they do is just lift. It's just like a snowball effect. And that's when you end up with trouble. Flag ends, they're lighter, they've not got as much buoyancy. But what happens if your uh, weights are nice and heavy, is the flag end will drag down. Uh, so yeah guys, there's a wee bit of information and I'm no stupid, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been at this since I was seven years old. On and off obviously. Oh what a beautiful morning! Right, enough rabbit on, let's get to work. Increasing severe gale force lighter. 
Let's begin. Due in the morning, issued Thursday, 12th January, at 0946 UTC. Fourth, southwesterly, gale force 8, expected soon. Time, southwesterly, gale force 8, expected soon. Increasing severe gale force 9 late. This is Aberdeen Coast Guard, out. Mm. It's going to get windy. But the wind's starting to tickle up now. Lindsay's just saying it's uh, reeking at Stoughton so... Eh, uh, we're over halfway through, so we'll, we'll plod on till the, uh, we can't do no more. Hey guys, the wind's picking up so I'm just going to see my Cheerios just now. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up, please write a comment below if you have any questions and please please subscribe to the channel which is always very helpful indeed. From me and Larry Lobster, we really hope you stay safe and we'll see you on the next vlog. All the very best my friends. It's nice when you're going with the weather, eh? So when you turn around to go back in it, that's when it goes, ooh! That's a bit wet and cold. <laughs>
Show going. Once again, always tell Lindsay. That lumbar just to make sure she knows I'm okay. Hey, right, catch in a bit, guys. Woo! Last week, guys. Sorry I'm shouting, but the wind's picked up some chronic, so I'm quite glad this is the end of the day. <laughs> Got this fleet to shoot. Right then, that's us done. Run home. And I'm going to have to run in, into shore to the lee of the land so I get the most shelter uh, to steam up to the harbour. Right, let's rock and roll. We'll get you in position. Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger Ayo, the mirror don't lie Ayo, the mirror don't lie Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger Ayo, the mirror don't lie If you want the truth, don't close your eyes Got a back against the wall, we gotta fight back I need a theme song, this the right track I ain't got no cape or no superpowers Just confidence and self-esteem, the world is ours I believed in me when nobody didn't This ain't no freestyle, just some facts that's written Come on, let's hear it for the boy He bringing pain at the same time, joy I bob and weave through the crowd, so untouchable at first they hate, then they loving you Suckers. It's a crazy cycle, but I'm going through it I wish I was lying, that's why I show and prove it I'm destined to be one of the best to do it I ain't saying I'm the GOAT, but I'm closer to it I should get a statue in the front yard Man, I'm shooting up my stats like a shooting guard Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger Ayo, the mirror don't lie Ayo, the mirror don't lie Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger Ayo, the mirror don't lie If you want the truth, don't close your eyes I'll give it to you in 3D or even play by play I'm your guest announcer, are you here today? Yo, let me get a show of hands if you rockin' with me Ain't no stopping us now, we bout to bounce quickly I'm bout to start a movement, put your fist up Everything all black from the wrist up, yeah Leather gloves, no prints, what? We about to dip a uh, deep cut Yeah, now bring it back like a boomerang Who that man do that thing? Coming through like Buddha Bang Setting booby traps for girls and goofy cats Hawk tied and handcuffed through in the back Zip locked and sealed in the Woo! And that is it I'll show you the catch in a minute guys There we go guys, 14 lobsters, not too bad out of 64 creels. Eh, makes you wonder what happened in the summertime, eh? In the summertime you're meant to catch up more. Eh, but I seem to work better in the winter when there's no other pirates about. I mean, who the hell eh, pulls 74 pots for three lobsters in the height of the season? Anyway, we'll no worry about it because we're catching now, yay! Right guys, that's it for this vlog. Thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you all in the next one. All the best.